Hi everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel. This is Richard here with another video review. And this is video review number four of the recent upload videos that I'm going to be doing. And it's another Backman Loco, and this is the first one of its kind because it's the first V2 Loco review I've ever done in my entire life. So here it is. This is the recent uh, fruits of my shopping trip to Model Zone in Holborn again the other day. And this is my recent, recent purchase. And it's one of these. It's a Backman V2 Green Arrow in the National Railway Museum LNER Apple Green Preserved Color. And she is just absolutely immaculate. Um, when I first saw her in Model Zone, um, I wasn't going to buy her because I'd already bought a loco that you're going to see um, in another video coming up soon. But I saw this loco as well and I thought, this is too good to pass up. And I guess I just went overboard and just bought too many locos. <laughs> But anyway, here is one of my uh, recent purchases. As I said, it's a class V2 Backman Loco, and it's the Green Arrow, which is quite iconic. So let's get her out of the box and have a look. So, taking this impressive Loco out of the box. And she's DCC ready, by the way. So if you want to DCC chip this particular Loco, as most standard locos do these days, you can fit them quite nicely. So there's the box out the way. And the same old packaging from Backman, which I do like because they're so much nicer to get out the box compared to Hornby's. And as you can see, that you get some nice detail um, components there to, to fit onto it, which is basically some vacuum pipes and brake rods and bits and pieces. Haven't had a look at these yet. As you can see, that's how new the loco is. So I haven't actually fitted these on there yet. But I have run her on the track on the layout and she is immaculate in performance. Super quiet and super smooth. So she had has a run. She's been oiled up correctly as well. But I just thought I'd show you her and just really show her off because she's just gorgeous. Okay, so let's get her up the box and you can have a look. So here we go. Carefully open that up and carefully take her out of there. Oops. Turn it to one side just for a second. And there she is. She's gorgeous. Let me stop the video and I'll bring you in for a closer shot. So here we are, this is part two, welcome back, and here we go then, this is the close up shot of Green Arrow. So I'm not going to talk really, I'm just going to let the camera do the work and see what you think. So she's really gorgeous. I mean, just look at that. I mean, she really is nice. And once again, 
the the paint job by Backman is just really crisp. I mean, these boiler bands are just nicely picked out, and it's just really, really a nice loco. And the thing that's unusual about this a V2, in the fact that if you look at it and bring the camera out there a little bit, like that, it's got the sort of a shortened boiler, almost like the, the A3 Flying Scotsman. And then you look at the cab end, it's almost like an A4. So to me, it's like a, an A3 and A4 shortened up together in a, in a shortened version. And But the V2 in real life is a, was a very powerful loco. And this is the National Railway Museum um, version in original apple green l and &ER colour. And she's just really, really lovely. And there we go. I'll just take the tender out of the way. We can have a look at the cab. Oops. Cab's a little bit dismal. You could easily paint the controls in there if you wanted to. I'm not going to, but still very nice. Really, really smart handrails on the side there, together with a works plate on there. Nicely lined detail on the pony truck there. And the wheels are lovely green colour picked out there. And here's the thing that I love about this this V2 in particular. If you look at the, the cylinder blocks here, the cylinder casing here is painted a nice chrome colour which really just sets off that area and matches everything else in between. Now here's a little idea I'll move on to the tender in a moment but what I want to talk about really separately was this Hornby have got a tradition at the moment where their pony trucks on their tender locos are fixed much like this Backman V2. But Backman have overcome this silly idea by compensating with one great invention. It's this. If I turn her over, you'll be able to see this very carefully. If you notice this, look what Backman have done. Not only have they got a proper flanged wheel for the pony truck there, they've got this really good little engineering device here on a sliding little plate, if you can see that there oops, I'll change hands you can see that there it slides left and right on that plate there, see that? that is what Hornby should be following not a silly fixed pony truck, fixed wheel flangeless wheel that doesn't look even anything like a real pony truck assembly um, my, my argument is that Hornby should have their their pony trucks, if they're going to be fixed, to have something like this. Because it, it realistically performs on the track. And it, it just looks better as well. And it, it engineering, engineeringly is just better all around. So there we go. That's my gripe of the day. But there, there we are. That is the Backman V2 Green Arrow Loco. Here comes the tender. Oops. And she's, yeah, she's lovely. As you can see, loads of detail there. Superb amount of detail there. Really, really nice. So, there, in a nutshell, is my Backman Green Arrow Class V2 Steam Loco. And I just could not walk away from Model Zone without paying for that. <laughs> See you soon. Bye-bye.